Hello everyone. Welcome to Architect 24/7. This video is about site analysis. For site analysis, the site visit is the first gear in the design process. A detailed site analysis has to be done so as to understand the features of the site which will be very important during the design. The purpose of this site analysis is to record and evaluate information on the site and its surroundings and to use this evaluation in the design process. As an evaluation the first one is the location. This is the first aspect that one needs to look at. Where is the site located? How was it approached? What is the name of the street, the road, etc on which the site is located? So these are the things which has to be evaluated. The second one is the orientation. The orientation of the site plays a very important role in setting of the building. This when combined with the wind direction and sun path would give a good idea as how the design should be oriented so as to optimize the design. The orientation along with the sun path will also determine the placement of the rooms inside the building. 3. Wind direction. Most of the locations will have a general major direction from which the wind comes. However, this will not always hold truth and will vary from location to location. If we are to design a climatologically responsive building, it will be important to consider the direction of the wind so that it can be channelized through the interiors. 4. Soil type and condition. Soils vary from place to place. Their properties also vary according to the type of soil. like sandy soil clay soil laterite etc all have different properties which affect the design of the building this is very important from a structural point of view while designing a building five topography topography refers to the slope and level of the land whether the land is flat and plain or whether it is sloping from a design point of view a sloping site will be more challenging If a site is sloping the exact slope can be interpreted from a detailed counter map the counter locations and the spacing of counters will play a big role in setting of the building it is always better to design building along with counters integrating it into the design to reduce unnecessary cutting and filling of the soil 6 vegetation and natural features The natural vegetation present on the site is very important. Any good design will integrate it into the design. The vegetation will consist of all the trees, flora and fauna present on the site. These should be marked onto the site plan so that it will assist during the design stage along with the location. The type of trees, the size of the trees, diameter or spread of the branches, height etc are to be identified. 7 precipitation and hydrology the amount of rainfall that the site receives and also the time period during which the rainfall occurs are to be found the relative humidity of the place also has to be found out to determine the moisture content in the atmosphere a higher relative humidity suggests a humid climate for which cross circulation of wind at the body level is must for comfort a lower relative humidity will suggest a dry climate 8 neighborhood character that is infrastructure facilities this refers to the services present in the location the major things to be considered are water supply drainage connections water disposal electricity supply etc these are important while planning the zoning in the site 9 surrounding land uses and buildings One also needs to pay attention to the surrounding land uses and building around the site. If the land uses are incompatible, it may lead to creation of issues in the design. Also, the height and setbacks of adjacent buildings are important in affecting the flow of air and also sunlight. 10. Prominent vision lines or visual linkage This becomes a very important element in design process. The view to the site as well as the view from the site are to be carefully considered while designing. 11. Locally available resources. 
one also needs to find out what materials are available in and around the site which can be used in the design. This is especially relevant today when the design has to be as sustainable as possible by reducing the transportation, energy and cost. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more such videos in future. Why not leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. So this is Arputa signing off. Thank you so much for watching.